Good evening, friends. Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live, and tonight's broadcast is going to be, no doubt, an interesting one. Um, I'm going to be looking into this group called TLS, uh, the Light System, and now this is only kind of like the beginning of a capture of this information, just to kind of introduce you to it, and then hopefully I can bring in my wife, Yana, and also uh, Sister Elizabeth, on the program with me as well to go even deeper about this group right here. Uh, there's a gen young man by the name of Jace, Jace, excuse me, Jason Shurka, uh, and I apologize, Jason, when I happened to screen capture this, it caught your eyes when they went wide open there. Uh, but at any rate there, uh, Jason is the young man who is interviewing a guy named Ray and uh, throughout there, and they change his voice, things like that. They're talking about they're not of any religious affiliation. Uh, they're a group that is bringing about this change, things like that. But the more that I listen and the more information I'm getting, the more disturbing it becomes. Uh, clearly, very, very disturbing. I'm gonna play for you here, this clip here. It is a one minute, eight second clip where they're doing uh, a little thing here, and I'm gonna start breaking this down and sharing with you what I think that you're dealing with and just how dangerous this group really is. Let's listen into this right here. His planet is slightly out of phase of our reality. I started taking pictures, and it seemed to be that there were tunnels under the dome of the rock. I myself, as a kid, would see miracles and healings happen, cancerous tumors dissolving. We won't only become aware of more planets that will come into focus, but we will become more aware of seeing auras. The government came in, sealed it immediately, and made sure that nobody went down. And it was actually finding the law of one, where they explained the metaphysics of healing, and for the first time ever, I started seeing green coming around his head. According to the document, sacred objects were down there. I realized it was creating such a powerful frequency, and it would happen. What did I notice about that? I was in an expanded state of awareness. I believe that's how members of TLS walk in those abilities naturally. As you can see, the proof is here. Are you going to choose to see it? All right, there you have it right there. Uh, Jason Shurka speaking about this with a couple of his friends there. And I'm not here to bash these people as far as what they want to believe. Everybody has a right to believe what they want to believe. But <clears throat> as a believer of Yeshua, of Jesus Christ, I should say <clears throat> here, I'm very concerned about the information that is being uh, brought out in this film, specifically when they bring out the Law of One, Book One, the raw material. And raw, of course, those of you that may have watched our broadcast there, uh, for some time. We did over on uh, our Patreon channel called Egyptian God Ra Returning. And I'm going to play that here for you in just a moment. Uh, but before I do, um, uh, you know, there, there's a couple of things in the video I'm just going to point out real quick and, uh, and then bring out some other issues that are, that are concerning to me as well. But <clears throat> besides the, the Ra, the, the God there, they're talking about the healings, things like that. Well, that's gonna we're gonna get into that through this Ra God, uh, or well, the, the the law of the excuse me, the law of one, book one, the Ra material as they call it, is I believe the alien entity that our government has been in contact with, along with another alien entity that lives under the oceans uh, here on the earth there, who is the spokesman for this particular uh, Ra, the sun god of Egypt, is actually who he is who's going to be coming, and as I disclosed on Patreon there, who's going to be coming and then disseminating that, uh, that he sent Jesus, he sent Muhammad, and that, uh, and that it, the crucifixion is not exactly what you think it is, uh, that it really wasn't the Jewish people that were at fault for the crucifixion of Christ, things like that, all kinds of crazy things that are going on. I'm going to play a clip of that in a moment. Also in the video, they talked about uh, going down in these tunnels and stuff, and uh, let me see if I can find that little part of that video there. Now, I'm not sure if he's talking about the time that happened, which I've got the History Channel, a little clip up with the History Channel or not, but I'm going to play that clip for you as well and discuss that issue as well as my own experiences. 
that I have had down there uh, going into this too. Let's listen in. Pictures, and it seemed to be that there were tunnels under the dome of the rock. I myself as a all right, now I think they're talking about pictures. Let's back it up again. Taking pictures, and it seemed to be that there were tunnels under the dome of the rock. I myself, as a kid, would see miracles. And okay, talking about pictures under the dome of the rock. Now, I'm going to start right there first. I want to play this clip here from the History Channel here on YouTube. Just a brief quick clip here that we can do for, uh, for the Fair Use Act here. Let's listen in. Woman's Temple and the last location of the Ark of the Covenant. In 1981, a small team of Israeli workmen secretly tunneled under this hotly disputed site. Rabbi Yehuda Getz, the preeminent rabbi of the Western Wall, supervised the highly prohibitive and politically inflammatory excavation. It was a pretty big problem with this because that... All right. Rabbi, the rabbi there that they're speaking about actually was a good friend of... Uh, uh, or actually, was a rabbi that was a good friend of mine as well. Or not the rabbi was not a good friend of mine, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see this very well here. I'll put a little clip up here for you there. That's uh, that's um, uh, Gershon Solomon and Gershon Solomon. I used to live next door to Gershon. My wife is pictured there with him along with Zev, uh, which was Gershon's good friend, good friend of mine as well. Zev, known them for years. I've known Gershon since 2004, and Gershon. Uh, has his family has lived in in Israel since the 1800s, and uh, I actually moved in across the street from him, having no idea that he was going to be my neighbor back in 2004 when I moved to Israel, and we became very very close friends uh, for years. And uh, he actually told me the story that they publish here on the History Channel here about uh, the the rabbi and the secret digging of the. Of the tunnel there up underneath the dome of the rock uh, back in 1981 and of course uh, Gershon was invited down there so he was actually there when the altercation occurred but he told me that there was like this presence this feeling that he got that was just overwhelming uh, to them that he spoke about there and so you know they talk about these things even right here in this film here uh, and but again this side here is dealing more with an alien god which is very concerning to me and which it really there's so many things that can really just raise serious questions and we have to understand truly there is the god of israel truly there is jesus christ the messiah the son of the living god that came to deliver the children of israel out of the hands of of a very demonic influence that was happening to the Pharisees and Sadducees. As I pointed out in a video the other day, and I'll just bring this back up. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. You know, uh, your God, the devil, is what Jesus said to the, the Pharisees and Sadducees. You are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in, uh, in him. Uh, when he speaketh of a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. That's in the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 44. And we can back up a little bit more. Uh, why, do you not, why do you not understand my speech? Because you cannot hear my word. You are of your father the devil, right? That's what Jesus says to the Pharisees and Sadducees. As we also know, in, uh, in Matthew chapter 23, specifically... Um, um, and, and going down to about verse 39, I believe it is, 36, 39, something like that. Um, he says to them, you're the ones that kill the prophets, etc. And then he goes on and he says to them that, um, um, let me see, let me back up. I think I missed it or something here. Yeah, verse 33, you serpents, you generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? All right, so... Jesus clearly, and there's, there's more than one scripture on this, where he's always referring to them that they were basically following Satan. You know, the Pharisees, that was. And it, not all the Jews were, but he said he came to make the Father known unto them, is what he came to do. All right, now with that being stated, though, now we have this group out there that's trying to bring about this new hidden thing, uh, all kinds of, uh, almost like a new age type of philosophy with it, but it is clearly, and going again, going back, remember, in their video there, let's just play it again. I want to get to the part here where they talk about 
Uh, Ra, this book, uh, the book of one, listen in. We won't only become aware of more planets that will come into focus, but we will become more aware of seeing auras. The government came in, sealed it immediately, and made sure that nobody went down. And it was actually finding the law of one, where they explained the metaphysics of healing, and for the first time ever, I started seeing green coming around his head. According to the document, sacred objects are down there. I realize they're, so they're saying sacred objects are down there. They're talking under the Temple Mount. I'm going to get into that in just a moment as well. All right. But this is supposedly a group, TLS, that has no religious affiliations, etc. But it clearly is becoming more and more and more uh, a Jewish movement. Uh, and uh, you just can't really get around that. And... If it's not one thing, it's another. But let me let me play this clip here for you where I was doing a disclosure. And this is before I ever even heard of TLS, ever heard, before I ever heard of this uh, Ra, the book, you know, the law book of one. Let me just pull it back so you can have it up on the screen there. You know, where they're showing this here, the law of one, book one, the Ra material. Uh, let me play this clip here for you where I speak about uh, Ra, the sun god of Egypt and him coming back. Next year, I've told you about how that the U.S. is going to disclose the alien presence that is happening, uh, that we have been in contact with uh, extraterrestrial beings. Uh, and I found out uh, just yesterday that one of those uh, extraterrestrial beings is going to claim that he is Ra, that the, he is the Egyptian God Ra. Uh, and you want to talk about some confusion that's going to be coming. Uh, he's, you know, also the, the, the creation story that they have is that they're going to speak about how that the humans were created as bioweapon slaves. And uh, first is that Ra has a different story when it comes to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And that different story has a lot to do with the Jewish people weren't so responsible for his death in the first place. It's basically going to be an inclusive uh, faith, an inclusive religion. And they have been working on this for a long time. Uh, they're, they're working on trying to figure out how to hurdle over the issue with the cross. Uh, and the entities, have, have, as I've been told, they have, they have thought this all out. And uh, But one of the things that was shared with me in, in information the other day was that talk about the scripture where it says uh, you know people being confused you know and, and that's actually going to the scripture where it talks about uh, how that you know the, 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 the very elect could be deceived and, and what he's implying is that the story can be so believable the way they're going to lay this out so believable that if it wasn't for the Heavenly Father, uh, people would be deceived. And we're going to go much deeper into this. I have a meeting coming up um, very soon, and I'm going to be getting more of this information about what's going on, but I wanted to be able to share this with you now. The entity, one of the entities of the extraterrestrials, fallen angels, is claiming that he's Ra, the Egyptian god Ra. And they are going to be bringing an, an inclusive faith and religion. They will claim that they brought Jesus. They will claim uh, to the Muslims they, they, they sent Muhammad, etc. They'd be so close to deceive the very elect if it were possible. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. I wanted to give you also a little remember, you... little clip of that just so you could see what I was talking about there because here the, here it is and like I said I was just totally unaware of all this stuff going on and uh, at the same token you know here I am getting this information this TLS group uh, I'd already hear, heard about them bringing you know bringing in the laws of Moses and at the same time, thinking to myself, what, what is this about? There's supposed to be a non-religious group. They're talking about the laws of Moses and all these things. And, and then 
you know, they get into this new age type of thinking and, and thought and stuff. I'm like, something is not right. Something is really getting a little bit crazy out there. Um, you know, and boy, I, I can't even begin to tell you. I'm going to come back here in just a moment to this picture here in behind me there uh, that I took years ago. This was in Hezekiah's tunnel and you can't see it very well. I'm trying to find that original picture here at, at the house somewhere packed away. Uh, but I'm going to get into this as well. Well, I'll just go ahead and talk about it now with you guys because there are, I, I do believe that Jerusalem, although it is meant to be a good place and a holy place where Christ uh, ascended to heaven, etc., but it's also, I believe, can be a very demonic place as well. And initially, I thought this was a good picture. I was going down through Hezekiah's tunnel there. Going all the way down, as I began to go down, as I, every photograph I began to take, I was getting this amber orb in each photograph that I was taking, not even knowing. This is on 35 millimeter film. And uh, only to discover later that these amber orbs are actually very religious, but very demonic. And that the slightest move that you do that, that, uh, that, that upsets them, they'll kill you. And, uh, but the one thing that always stuck at, stood out in my mind, and you can't see it here very well because it's kind of blurry being behind me there, but this is actually a human face, like a fire face. It's got the shoulder. There was a hand coming around a friend of mine right there. And in that hand, you can clearly see the skeletal bones, the fingers. I mean, in the picture is very, very clear. Uh, like I said, it's a little blurry because the distance between me and the, and, the, and the bookshelf and behind me there doesn't allow that to become very clear. But it is a skeleton hand. And so I think to myself, you know, there, there's both good and evil spirits that are in Jerusalem. And it is so easy to tap into the evil side of that. And, and talk about strange things, even here in the Dead Sea Scrolls, right? This was one also. Now, this is from Moses' writings. Uh, from a pseudo of Moses, but it's actually just a carryover from what Ezekiel wrote. And, and just listen to, to listen to this here just for a moment, and then think about this yourself. See what your thought is on this. You know, I mean, I've always wondered about this in the first place, but then when you see, basically Moses finished in the blanks that were being fulfilled here, and it really makes you do a stop and think, you know, what in the world are we reading? So this is what we read right here. Uh, one eagle, one calf, one human, and each one had a man's hand attached to the back of the living creatures and fastens, fastened. And the wheels, one wheel attached to another wheel, while walking and, and from the two sides of the wheels, streams of fire came out. And there were living beings in the middle of the coals, like coals of, now just follow it now, because Moses is going to pick up where Ezekiel left off, like coals of, fire like torches between the wheels and the living beings and the wheels and above their heads there was a vault like frightening ice and there was a sound from above the vault what in the world was Moses writing about what was he writing that Ezekiel had left off in other words when they wrote the canon of Ezekiel, Ezekiel didn't include the rest of this. But then Moses comes in and writes and includes, or, or either, I shouldn't say that Moses included it. Maybe Ezekiel was writing what Moses wrote, but we only had a piece of what Moses wrote. And therefore, we got the rest of it here in the pseudo of Moses. I don't know. That one I'm going to leave up to you to think about for just a moment. All right. Now, a couple other things I want to share with you here before we close out on this. Let me just see where I'm at what I got up here on the screen here because I don't remember everything. Um, let's see here. Oh, goodness, 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 goodness. Okay. I thought I had Rabbi Sadok up here, but I don't. Micah 4, though, just remember, though, it says here, And many nations shall go and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and the house of God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. All right. So the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Now, strangely enough, there are many that believe that that's not been fulfilled. In my opinion, Jesus fulfilled that clearly 
already. Without a doubt, he fulfilled it. Let's listen to this as well. What is this event in Jerusalem that you're talking about? Listen there in. Will be a day that a specific person will be chosen to lead in the By the way, Ray, the guy you see in several videos I've watched already, I've already seen two or three of them already. Uh, he is disclosing in well over two hour long videos things that this group TLS does called the Light System is the name of the group there. Uh, uh, and, and claims in one case there that this one rabbi that is the leader of their group there has been alive for some 600 years. Now I did ask people in Washington that I know that know things like this, is that possibly true? And they said they've heard of this before, but not of a rabbi before. And they had not heard of this TLS organization either. But listen to what he says here. Ray is a guy speaking. He's a guy that's cloud, or darkened out in the ground. His voice has changed. And he is one of the TLS, not an official member, as he says, but uh, he has been given the task to reveal what the organization wants to be known to the public. Listen in. An expedition to go there and take these sacred objects out. Will that be an expedition created and led by TLS as an organization? Yes, but the person who's going to lead, I have a reason to believe, is going to be you. I think what they're doing now, they're training you, and they are planning on giving you the task of retrieving those objects. When the time comes, this will help us to reach the nirvana I was talking about 170 years from now. But again, I have a reason to believe it's going to happen much sooner. What's stopping people from going there right now after hearing what you just said? They don't know where to go. You can't just go and dig there. They'll shoot you on sight. How do you think these objects and the revelation of these objects will show to the world when they are revealed? There again, these are just some of the things that, that I have been seeing on this, and I wanted to bring this to your attention. And also, as a warning, as a caution, um, you know, we, you know, you have already, just like in this film here, I do not know who Leland Jones is, but just uh, uh, he had done, uh, I pulled it up because I was looking for some underground temple uh, types of sites there, and he had done some filming there showing there where the 70 elders are going to be sitting. The court's already been put together for the Sanhedrin. Uh, they're reestablishing everything. They're preparing in Jerusalem already to head the New World Order. If you guys remember also on Patreon, another thing that I had shared with you is that, um, is that the, uh, besides that, that when they bring about, they're going to make Jerusalem the head of the New World Order. And one of the things that, that this Ra, this sun god Ra, is supposed to do is they're going to come back. They're going to, like I said, they're going to tell you that they sent Jesus, they sent Muhammad, but they're also going to bring about a healing campaign. They're going to do all kinds of great miracles and things like that to get the people to believe that they are truly of God. And so when I'm seeing these types of things, and this here is under the temple, or not, this is under the Western Wall area where they built this court like this huge dining table areas and stuff like that. You know, really strange things that are going on uh, that are happening there. You know, I, I don't know what to think about some of this stuff, friends. I really don't. Uh, it's really strange, really bizarre. And, but I can tell you that <laughs> the devil's a busy guy, very busy guy. And there's some really strange things going on in Jerusalem. And right now, too, the whole political landscape over there is just completely going bonkers. There is protest over Netanyahu's uh, new uh, administration that he has put in power there. His new government that he signed in. It is all orthodox, you know, very strong ultra-orthodox uh, groups there that are going on in Jerusalem there. And I was thinking, we have, yeah, we have a video right here. And the people are pro protesting it. They believe that democracy in Israel is well, over. Listen to this. Down. Some of the demonstrators waved Israeli flags as well as banner reading danger to democracy, murder of democracy, and crime minister. We came here to protest against the degradation of the Israeli democracy. We see a, a process where the rights of the people will be over time consumed by this theocratic government and we want to avoid that. 
The protest was led by left-wing and Arab members of the Israeli parliament known as the Knesset. They say that the new government will hinder the judicial system and widen the societal gaps. We are really afraid that our country is going to lose the democracy and we are going to a dictatorship just for the reasons of one person which wants to get rid of his law trial and it is just said it's just a, it's so selfish. Very sad indeed there. And of course, they're calling uh, Netanyahu crime minister rather than prime minister. And uh, so I have a strong feeling, a suspicion that President Trump will also end up coming back in power. Uh, I mentioned this a while back that I felt like that if they did, they would perceive this as, uh, you know, the messiahs of Israel. Uh, but you got all kinds of crazy, crazy things going on. And I don't know the answers to everything, friends, but I do know one thing. Jesus Christ is the only safe way to go right now. And uh, we are living in a very precar precarious uh, times and a time of needful prayer like never before. I want to thank you for listening. Thank you for your support of Israeli News Live. As always, our website, our, our mailing address is right there above my head there. And we appreciate your kindness and love to this ministry. God bless you.